Lake Powell has fallen to dangerously low levels. It is steadily getting closer to the level where Glen Canyon Dam won't produce power. Tonight in our 12 News series, Running Dry, Team 12's William Pitts looks at how far the lake has gone and what that means for you. This lake is in trouble. Weather, climate change, low snowpack, it's all coming together against Lake Powell. Based off the best climate data that's available, it's really unlikely that this reservoir is going to be around in the decades to come. And that should concern us, hundreds of miles downstream. Here's how the Southwest water system works. Water comes down the Colorado River. Along the way, it gets held up in reservoirs. Those are the banks. There are agreements to make sure water comes downstream to our reservoirs. The first one they hit in Arizona is Lake Powell. It's like a savings account. It holds a lot of water, but it's not the one that directly gives water for drinking, farming, whatever, to the southwest. That's Lake Mead at the other end of the Grand Canyon. Water goes through Glen Canyon Dam at Lake Powell, then down the Colorado River and sits in Lake Mead. That's the checking account. It's what we withdraw from every day. It sits in the lake until it's released through the dam, generating power. That water then comes downstream through canals and rivers to us. But now there's less water than there's ever been. There's been a drought for the last 22 years and counting. Lake Powell has dropped to its lowest level since the dam was built. What they've done is they've agreed to let more water from upstream down to Glen Canyon, and we're cutting back a little bit on what we're sending down the river this year. With a lake this big, it's hard to tell how low the level is, but look at these before and after photos, and you can see the dropping water levels. This is Antelope Point, the boat launch at the east side of Page. In 2014, the boat launch led down into the water. Today, it doesn't come close. The boat launch is closed. There's at least a 50-foot drop off the end before you actually get to the water. They usually say, wow, I had no idea it was that far. This photo was taken in 2020, still 20 years into the drought. The lake spreads out, covering large areas. But keep an eye on this rock formation sitting in the water. Two years later, that water is gone. This photo was taken from the same place this year. The water has receded far enough that there's now an entire plain that didn't exist before. There are contingency plans. The taps won't run dry yet. But experts say the only thing we can do to help the lake is conserve even more water. At Lake Powell, William Pitts, 12 News.